So listen, welcome to Bethesda. This is Skyrim, a game I'm going to be playing for a while. Um, I'm not going to unveil all of the plans that I'm going to be doing for this character creation, but I will tell you some about this game. Once you get into this game, there's going to be a lot of questions maybe if you've never seen Skyrim or never learned anything about Skyrim. You may have heard of it, but you've probably never played it is what I'm trying to say. This game is very buggy. That horse that you keep seeing on the right side makes me very uncomfortable. Anyway, you start off, you're about to get executed, and then the dragon appears. And then after that, you just get to roam the area of Skyrim. Long story short, you're basically this dragonborn who goes on various missions and does various different things. It's just an adventure on an adventure. So, later on in the game, I'll explain it. You'll get to see me playing a little bit, you know. And you'll hear me talking about random stuff to my friend, but... Yeah, I, I'm not talking to just nobody. He, he's there, but you can't hear his audio. All frick storm I didn't know what the fuck to do. Some here in hell then, call you a hero. And then when I started playing it, power like the voice I remember seeing that scratch on your surface. Thrown. But when I started playing, I started enjoying it. You it started weird. this war, plunged Skyrim into chaos, and now the Empire is going and to, to be put honest, you down why and restore the peace. But the smiling baby, I swear to God, I'm running. It's nothing. Carry on. Yes, that man still dressed up as Batman, Give but he take off the mask and be smiling. Hey, do you like this smile of Batman evil? I'll to be now. Blessings of the eight divines upon For the love of Talos, shut up and let's get this over. If he's smiling when he take his mask. Well, this is the execution scene, and things happen here, like executions. Uh, what started the execution is, I guess you get caught in some intersection in the olden days. And these people just blamed you for whatever you were doing around these people, even though you had nothing to do with them. And his head's about to get lobbed off. Boom. Playing Skyrim, six in the morning. On you Hysteria bastards! Justice! <laughs> death to the Stormcloaks! As fearless in death as he was in life. I'm probably gonna have to cut out all my audio when I play. There it is again. I don't know. Did you hear that? I want this to be. I said next prisoner. To the block prisoner. Nice and easy. You can play this game two ways, with or without dragons, and it all depends on if you do the first mission, which is in Bleak Falls Barrow, to get the dragon stone and talk to like Jarl Balgriff. I will eventually be doing that, but just not right now because I want to build my character up and get her to her base form. And I'll probably explain more on my character in like the next episode or this episode, I'm not entirely sure. There's going to be some things I'm going to have to edit in and out as I'm doing right now. But it's this is going to be a fun experience for me. <laughs> I, I play a lot of Skyrim, so it's a refresher to play it again. Quick tip, there's a certain path you can take on both of these guys, Hadvar and Rayloff. These two have certain interactions that you can literally just take. One goes left, the one that takes the left path, the one I'm choosing now, will actually give you a better customization to like gear and stuff, and the other one it, it, you don't get much. He just tells you to join the Stormcloak Rebellion after this, which that leads to another mission. It's not too helpful. Looks like we're the only ones who made it. Was that really a dragon? The 
bring us of the end times. We should keep moving. Come here. Let me see if I can. Yeah, if you shoulder tackle this guy, there you go. You can skip his Take a look around. There should be I plenty of gear to choose from. I'm going to see if so. I can find something for these bones. See if one of these chests has some armor for you. I guess another thing I want to say about Skyrim is that it's a game oriented around stats. You can literally break any stat in this game and become OP. Like, for instance, Restoration. You can make yourself undying, literally, as long as you have a way to replenish your magicka. Nothing can kill you in this game, even on the highest of settings. I don't care if it had a one-shot capability. It, it's just impossible to die, no matter what you do. There is some way to make yourself broken. I'm sorry for yawning, but I just woke up. It's like six going on seven in the morning. <laughs> Hear that? They say you'd rather die than ask for help. Oh, okay. Storm cloaks. Maybe we can raise it with them. The storm cloaks are in a war with the Empire, and it's because the Empire is a bunch of snobby elves who think that pretty much they are they're, they're kind of racist they feel like their way is the best way and that their race is the best race but Nords are also kind of racist i guess and they feel like their way of skyrim is the best way of skyrim which is their home area this place that we are in the game's called skyrim because it's about the nords i guess um that's that's a pretty good summary of the conflict the great conflict that's happening here he couldn't use the spirit bomb. He asked Goku to use the spirit bomb. To defeat Boo. Because his weak ass Goku. They didn't fuse. Nah, they ain't fuse. They said Goku by himself can defeat Boo with the spirit bomb. Come on. Now, I pick up a lot of things in this game, including the dead's gear, like. There, there's so much you can do with just picking up all the junk that people leave behind after you kill them. You just sell it, get money, and then you can get rich off of it. You can't go wrong with just taking stuff people aren't going to use anymore. So, I mean, it's going to happen. I know the store. See if you can find some potions. He said the only high age form I got is Super Saiyan 2. Why don't you go Super Saiyan 3 with you? Hmm? Because you can. You don't even know how to fucking go Super Saiyan 3. You had to, he, you had to accept the help of Bobbity to get you to Super Saiyan 2. A villain. Done then. During the Boo Saga. Trash. Goku actually trained and got Super Saiyan 2. The and then 3. God, so even you when you die. Come on now. What are you doing? Keep on that dumb shit. What you're seeing is another part of the tutorial of actually, you know, getting into the world of Skyrim. You kind of just run around aimlessly and kill these guys. It's not boring, but it's still in the tutorial and the enemies block a whole lot as you can see now. This guy is blocking with a two-handed weapon. Later on in the game, you're not going to catch people doing that, especially when I have the settings turned up. I actually take lots of damage. You'll see, I fight this weird spriggan creature and it like bodies me a couple of times. But enemies will literally just stand there and let you hit them or they'll block a lot. It, it's gonna happen. Weird. Now you're mine. Come on. 
Now normally I'll kill those spiders without even taking a hit or them knowing I even exist. And I get over encumbered a lot in this game because I can't resist picking things up. Um, this next part is going to have a bear. And you can poison most enemies off of spider like potion poisons that they give you after you kill them. My character is specking in restoration. She's probably going to build it up really really high because I want a certain build with her. But... I'll explain it the more I go. Right now this is episode 1 and episode 2 I'll let go a little bit more detail. Um, she's going into restoration and chanting. She's going to be a villain and I'm, it's just going to be crazy. I can't wait till I get to where I want to be and have all the episodes running. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> I'm about to be laughing. I'm finna laugh. I'm sorry. If he laughing like that, I'm laughing at him. I said, what kind of laugh is that, little nigga? He said, <laughs> Not the snake type. I killed a bear with just two arrows. He said, <laughs> Well, when I first got out here, my first intention was to make more money. My main goal is to make it to Falkrafe to get to this mission that pretty much is about a guy who turns into a werewolf and kills this little girl. Because the main alternative is to get this one gear set that I want that stops diseases and gives me magic resistance. And the armor looks pretty fly. I like it, honestly. But I have to get the Falkreath first, but before I do that, I kill a whole bunch of enemies, get over encumbered, and then have to sell all the crap off. And it just happened to be a long, long time. Mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong, my one handed weapons are good, but I am better than just a one handed weapon. Come here, boy. <laughs> Don't run for me! <laughs> the wolves of Skyrim, natural, stupid, and oftentimes stupid. Oh, because I have a bow. They think they're not. So oh damn! You know what? I fucked up. A great soul will often do the trick against wolves. Hey, hey, other wolf, bring your stupid self on. I know you're there, my guy. You're messing up my whole nature wall. Come on, bro, man. I have killed your brothers. Nope. 
And there was a third wolf there, but he changed his whole mind about how I beat his other two brothers. He said, no, no, I am not stupid. A very wise choice indeed. And then he later turned around and got bodied. What are you doing here? 